Hello everyone. Uh, hope your holiday is going well. Hope your December in general is going well. Hope your life is going well. I just hope you're well. Uh, things are doing okay over here. Um, as I said in my last vlog, things got hectic. Uh, things are calmed down considerably now. So not so hectic. Everything's kind of smoothing out and going back to its old flow. So uh, the you know a lot of the panic modes kind of taken down way way down so it's smoothing out around here that's good so quick update on that uh, this is a quick vlog because box and this isn't a surprise box I unless something else got snuck in here I generally know what's in this box and who uh, we will come to that at the end a uh, few things I did want to get out just because I'm in the mood to talk I'm in the mood to I'm in the mood to look at my camera and talk to technically a object, even though I know thousands of people are going to see this. Uh, so as I do this, um, well, let's phrase it this way. As you guys watch this, Glios 101 has just wrapped up yesterday. Uh, thank you everyone who gave it a try. I know it's very unusual out of me to uh, release something like that. If you see me on Twitter, I post photos of little bills that I've done all the time so it wasn't a surprise to you guys but for my general YouTube audience it's so far from the norm uh, but uh, I, I want to thank everyone who gave it a chance because they are really cool toys and they're made by really cool people like I did a lot of research before this I sent the producers of the toys questionnaires little things like uh, getting some feedback uh, just seeing what all I had in common, trying to educate myself. And even then, I got a couple things wrong, which is kind of embarrassing. But everyone was really nice. Everyone was really cooperative and really appreciative of the videos. These are guys who, you know, the customer base on a Glios line is maybe a few hundred people. So a lot of them love, you know, like really appreciate the exposure that, you know, my audience, you know, from my audience because there's. You know, my, you know, my videos will see 2,000 views in the first day, and for some of these companies, that's like five times the exposure, you know, the five times as many people learning about their product. Uh, so, a lot, they've been extremely cool, extremely nice, and some of them quite generous in uh, helping me out and getting that video series produced. It's something that I've, I've always had a hand in, or I should say, I've always had I've always had a little bit of uh, a little bit in, of reach into the Glios universe, but it's only the last few months I've really gotten into it. Probably because uh, there's some little collector void in my heart for uh, Common Rider right now. Uh, Drive continue uh, just for just an update on that. Drive continues to do absolutely nothing for me. Um, the show is not catching my interest, and in we're you know episode nine just got subtitled. Uh, the toys continue to look dumber and dumber. I mean, now the like now the mid-season upgrades form. His his weapon is uh, it's a semi truck. Or the trailer of a semi truck, where the truck is the handle of a big cannon. So basically, it's a big box with a handle on it. And I. <laughs> Oh, I didn't think the toy car thing would get dumber. They're finding ways. I'll commend them for, you know, finding all the different av avenues of this that they could. You know, I'm, I'm waiting for like the truck-based form that's just all like, you know, j you know, just like giant bulky armor. Or that, you know, you know what type diesel? A bunch of truck ship cars. Yeah, I know a lot of people are liking Drive. Good for you. Not a bad thing. You know, variety's good. You know, it's good for some people. Not good for others. It's really not good for me. Uh, so, like, uh, even on eBay. Like, I've been doing eBay sales lately. Uh, just because I've... Well, for starters, I will admit the Glios things got a little out of hand. But there's uh, Christmas shopping to do. There's a Mega Buster replica that is crying out for me. And I gotta start uh, 
I gotta start financing for the complete selection Decca Driver. Yeah, I, if I can get that, I'm absolutely getting that. It's because mine's busted, so I need a replacement anyway. So why not a $200 replacement? So, um, yeah, but that's kind of filled the void in my little collection uh, budget. And it's, it's, been really, it's been a lot of fun. It, and they really are fun, though, just because not only are the designs really cool, you know, when I'm in the mood, take them down, build something with them. Um, that's been fun. And as it, and now, as I record this, uh, I just released Saturday's video, the first part of the O'Neill design review, and um, I have yet to film number two. This is really something you're supposed to do well in advance and get all the prep work done and uh, just, like, be able to, you know, like, have some of the videos done in advance. This? No. Uh, this is not how you're supposed to do it. You're not supposed to do it by the day, because this has been, uh, this is, this has been as much a labor of love as uh, a lot of these toys are for their producers, because I've got, uh, I, I swear to God, I have spent every moment of the last week either looking at my editing window or the viewfinder of the camera. Uh, even, even had, even when I go, leave, let, you know, got out of the house and took a break from everything, it was because uh, a friend of mine wanted me to record uh, a church recital that her uh, sister and her mom are in every year, and I usually go there and record it for them because the performers don't get to see it. You know, and I'm the one with the camera. In the editing programs, and so I, so like, so even to get out of the house, I was still just staring at the viewfinder in my camera the entire time I was out. So it's been nothing but me and this camcorder for a week. So what do I do? <laughs> what do I do when I finish up a video? I sit down and I put myself in front of the camcorder, and I'm still looking at the viewfinder. It's been a lot of work, but it's been a lot of fun. I've loved the reactions. I like, you know, seeing how many people are into this weird thing that I've been discovering. Um, Collecting-wise, you know, I, I guess there's a lot of voids to fill right now. Um, the the uh, movie line this year, the Transformers are so focused on getting variety of toys out, especially in the vein of getting toys out for little kids, like the one-step changers. Uh, really very little offering for me. I think... Um, I think the new Bumblebee and what was the other one? The new Bumblebee and Galvatron are like the only two that I'm in any way interested in. Yeah, I look over. I got all the Dinobots. I got the good one. I got some of the good ones. Uh, you know, Lockdown's okay. There's so much of that line that does nothing for me. So I'm just like I'm begging R.I.D. Like R.I.D. is starting to trickle into the U.S. I'm like, please get here fast because you look good and you know, I want more. I want Transformers I like again. Uh, so I really had almost nothing to buy, which is why the Glios is kind of taken over. Uh, I've got a big bad toy store pile of loot that's actually kind of accumulating rapidly. Because. Like, See what was it? Um, Brainstorms in there. Jetfire's in there. Who else is in there? It's been so long. I've been accumulating these for so long. I've forgotten. Uh, Windblades in there. I'm waiting for Chromia RC before I ship it. And BBTS did something weird where they got in Chromia and Chromia's in stock, but no RC. And I'm like, they don't, don't they come in the same box? How is that even? It's not like they were even like filling pre-orders. Because no one who ordered both got their pre-order filled. I haven't, I haven't even checked to see if anyone who just ordered RC got theirs filled. But RC was still listed pre-order. You know, last I checked. And it's shocking to me because I noticed like, I had those pre-ordered in like mid-January. So if the, if those things get filled in the next week, you know, that's eleven months. Eleven months. I've been waiting. I've had those on pre-order. It's, it's absolutely mind-boggling. It better be worth waiting 11 months. <laughs> so, uh, that's been annoying. Uh, the, oh, BBTS annoyed me on the pre-order front already because they put up a bunch of Amiibo pre-orders. And Amiibo is another thing that's kind of been taking over the void in my collecting uh, hobby. 
Uh, oh boy. Yeah, as soon as I mention the word amiibo, I know some of you go, oh no, you too. Yeah, me too. You don't have the one. No, I don't have the ones. I have one of the ones. Uh, BBTS put up a pre-order for uh, the, uh, all, you know, all of the wave ones, and including the rare ones. And then we find out, uh, no, uh, they uh, had to cancel all the rare ones that everyone is after because they've been discontinued, and everyone knows they've been discontinued now, which is why you can't find them anymore. Because I could find rows of them. I found rows of Wii Fit Trainers and Villagers over at my Walmart for weeks. No one wanted the things. And then the day the news hit, I happened to be in that Walmart. I checked just to be sure, and yep, vaporized. None of them there. Uh, I've got an angle on a Wii Fit trainer, uh, and I got a Marth. The Marth I actually saw in person. I saw exactly one Marth after someone on on Twitter you know, informed me that that was like the super rare one. Like that was like the rarest of all of them. Is it? I, I, I don't I don't know the case distribution on these things. So you know, okay, I'll I'll take a Marth. It's the only one I see, and it's the only one I've ever seen because they've never shown up again. So I got extraordinarily lucky on that. I could have had the Wii Fit Trainer and Villager if I had gotten warned a little bit sooner, or if I took the warnings seriously when I first heard them. Because I heard those two were rare, and I thought, nah, not those. They'll be around. No one wants them. They've only been out, like, two weeks. You know, they probably won't cancel these. You know, they'll be re releasing these things for months. Did anyone tell Nintendo how distribution works? Because it ain't this. So that's going to nag at me. I don't even play the villager, but it's more along the lines of, hey, you know those trophies that you win at the end of the game when you beat like the arcade mode? Here's the real thing. Here it is in reality. So this is hitting my Nintendo fanboyism, my toy collecting, and my love of video game props. And as I record this video, I think they're like a uh, they're just starting to release and or I think today is actually the day you're watching this is actually the day they have released a wave two which is six more of them I'm like, not even done with wave one uh, so yeah I'm after a villager now like a lot of people are well, at least the only one I am after is a villa is a villager <laughs> yeah because I feel so bad for the people who are going in on these and Missed all three of the rare ones. Because I've seen the eBay prices. It ain't pretty. Not pretty. Everyone wants to make triple... No, no. Forget that. Everyone wants to make, like, quadruple the price on these at least. Which is insane. And some of them are getting it. It's just even insaner. Because you're dealing with a fan base that just started up. Yes, there's been toy collectibles for years, thanks to Skylanders, but... Not Nintendo people, not Nintendo fanboys. Now, now you're reaching this whole new market who's not used to this. Mm. But it's been a fun little collection to have. It's been fun to just kind of idle through and grab something here and there. Um, and again, it kind of fills the need for ooh shiny. I'm really hoping Transform. I'm really looking forward to Combiner Wars. Uh, that looks like Transformers is going to pick up. Pick a right, you know, between that and RID, looks or, I hate calling it RID because we already had an RID. We have an RID is right behind me right now. But RID 2 looks really good. You know, I, I, I'm liking what I'm seeing out of it so far. Mm, I, I'm looking forward to getting back into this. I, I think that's why you haven't seen as much Common Rider and Transformer from me review wise, too, just because I've been. When the toys aren't doing it for me, I just kind of fall out of it. You know? just uh, oh yeah it's a new bumblebee yeah it kind of looks like all the others it's nice when we can have new things not movie things just, you know, I miss the days when uh, I miss the days when you know you go to a toy store and you like the big transformers are the ones who are actually big in the show and not just a giant bumblebee because bumblebee is the marketable one you know, I miss the days when uh, 
even the most popular characters didn't have more than two toys, and the toys actually felt special because there are only a couple of them. Whereas I've sold like seven bumblebees on eBay, and movie wise, I still have one, two, three, four, five, six more, and that's just in the movie, not including uh, Prime, not including classics, Generations, Universe, whatever. It's a bug hunt, man. It's a bug hunt. You know what? Here, let's stop putting this off because I want to get some good toys going. Ah, this is heavy. I feel so bad for the mail courier right now because I've got so many boxes coming in and going out that there's just always something being dropped off or picked up. Uh, she has to come to my door no matter what. Uh, but this is something that was like, uh, this came in, this just like, ooh. if, uh, if, uh, yeah, I'm going with, uh, I'm going with, I'm going with Jesse on this. I don't know if it's, I, I don't know how he prefers to have it pronounced, Jesse, Jess. I don't know if the E's silent, but I do know what's in here. Presumably, uh, you know, if if he was telling the truth, otherwise, uh, uh, I will catch a very uh, nice explosion on camera for the first time, which kind of makes talking to you kind of pointless because I won't be here to upload the video. Most likely, the camera will be destroyed as well. I don't think I don't think this comes with that much malice. So we will get this cracked open. Yep. Yep. Oh, what is this? Straight, he's straight out. Let's see, looks like we got. Uh... <laughs> okay, I told Jess that. Uh, I told Jesse. Uh, since he said he never really shipped out anything before, so I advised him, okay, uh, use newspaper as filler because it's it's inexpensive and it takes up space nicely. Well, now, generally what I mean by that is um, crumple it up so it has some spring to it, so if the box falls, it kind of compresses and kind of bounces back. Uh, yeah, he did use newspaper as filler. Just kind of laid the morning paper in there. Let's see. Uh, Ten dollars for gloves. That's good. Uh, lots of chicken. Yeah. Bits of styrofoam. Bit 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 of styrofoam. Jesse just sent me a box of styrofoam. What do you think of getting more styrofoam? More styrofoam. More styrofoam. Ah. Now we get to the good. More styrofoam. More styrofoam. To TJ from. Jess, Jesse. Next time I'm gonna ask how to pronounce people's names. PPPS. The scene where you stare at the camera after looking, after looking at animorphs to buy number five makes me laugh every time. It horrifies me. Just, it's really creepy when not only, not only do you find an action figure. That looks like you. It's a terrible one. Jeez, it's greetings from Cape Cod. Who? <laughs> oh man.
man, he, he wrote me this huge, oh man. See, he hopes that it brings me back to my happy place as he, as this had done for him. This is one of those things that's sent in like the best of, well, I'm, re I'm reading the card by the way, which is thrilling on camera. Because it's it's a it's a very long card and the dude uh, did my logo up with wings and everything it looks awesome. Uh, that's cool. That goes to the fan mail pile. Yes, I have a fan mail pile. Okay, okay, that's boring to read on camera. So I will say this is something that was provided to me in the absolute best of sentiments. Uh. Just out of genuinely wanting a, a good set of toys to find a good home, and you know, just you know, you know, someone who can fully appreciate them. wasn't looking for a review. wasn't looking for anything other than just general, like doing something cool for me. And this is just like blowing me away. And you have no idea. You have no idea, which you're about to. So that's a Leo Ducks. That is the mastermind version of Razor Claw. Man, the box is way bigger than I expected it to be. You know where this is going. You know that wasn't the only thing in the box. Boom. There's Fortis. It's our, uh, that's our headstrong, right? Yeah, that's our headstrong. Go. Talon. Dive bomb. Tigress. Now, this one's special to me because I've had a G1 Predacon my entire life. It's one of the few toys that survived my childhood. It is a G1 Rampage. So having this in much more articulated, much more up-to-date styling, this, this is probably one of the coolest ones. If I had only gotten one, it would have been him, just for the nostalgia value. And yep, Bovis at the end, Tantrum. And I'm assuming the toys are in the boxes and he didn't just fill it with shrapnel and kitty litter. Speaking of, more styrofoam, more styrofoam. Ah, dude, like, like, what do I say to that? This just blows my mind. Just absolutely just like stunned. Like that, that is like, that is by like, like, oh, okay. I've gotten big things from fans before, you know, I've gotten a Fize belt that I saw the price tag on. And I'm like, who, you did not pay that for, for me. Did you, uh, I've gotten like all of Daiboken, all 10 parts of Daiboken in one box. I opened that on here for you guys. You saw that this is by far, like, there's no hiding how much these toys cost. This is like by far, by far the biggest thing anyone has ever sent me in more ways than one. It just absolutely blows my mind. You know, whatever I do to, whatever, I, I don't know why. I say, I keep saying it every time, like, I don't know what I do that makes people want to do things like this for me, but like, uh, Stop falling over. Give me Leo Ducks. Ugh. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> okay. I take that back. He used the newspaper properly. Ah, <laughs> uh, he's all bound up in there. Keep him safe. Okay, well done, sir.
Okay, that works out. Though I am concerned that I did find what looks to be half of a pelvis without its screws. That was just kind of floating at the top of the box. I hope this actually goes to one of these guys and you didn't dr accidentally drop something in there that you shouldn't have. Actually, I kind of hope it doesn't go with one of these guys because that means something's disassembled. But man, that isn't... I've got no words for that. Just... I love you people. I absolutely love you people. Uh, so, um... I have another video to do tonight, so I can't even... If I, if I crack into these now, I will never get the last episode of Glios 101 done. So if I didn't post anything on Sunday, you know what happened. I got completely lost in Predacon. Let's see, which ones did he... Uh, he said he found the clamshells to some of them. Okay, because Bovis has clamshells. Bovis, unfortunately, is missing a couple guns, according to him, and yeah, I don't see him in the box, so... I would love to review these, but I might have to get in touch with Mastermind and see if they can't... You know, see if they aren't willing to uh, replace those weapons. Let's see, did... Rampages? I have a claim for... Nope. Dang. I want to see one! I want to see them. Neat. More paper. More paper. Oh. Bobus and Portis had their clamshells. Good lord, these are huge. Oh, jeez, we have more guns missing. Okay, uh, yeah, I need to get in touch with Mastermind and see what we got here. See what I'm gonna need here. Because those outlaws will have to be complete before I can review them. So, I got a bit of homework to do on top of all this. So... Dude, thank you. I cannot thank you enough. Like, that is absolutely nuts. It's just... I, there's like three. There's like three of these uh, non predikings out here. And you sent me my favorite, man. Like, this is like this is the one I would have grabbed if I was... You know, if I could have afforded it. So, like, I'm, I'm just absolutely stunned here. So, thank you for that. I will try to get a review. Like... For that, yeah, you you deserve to you deserve to see the review and something like this, like what I want to do, any anything I get, I have to be able to turn into entertainment. I might not get around to it, but I want the option to make it a video that everyone can enjoy. So I want everyone to get something out of anything that someone sends me. So I'll I think I think I'll I think I'll try to do that. Now I have to come down from this review week first. And like I said, I do have to get all the missing bits accounted for. But I want to make that happen. I really want to make that happen. So, so again, guys, uh, thanks for sticking with me through the uh, the Glios uh, obsession. I might do a couple. I might do a video here and there for them. You know, Glios companies. If you pay attention to them, all of them, uh, usually one or two drops a month. I might do like an end of the month catch up on uh, Glio stuff that's come in, just for the people who have caught interest and in, wants a few direct opinions about any of the new releases. I don't know. We're I, mean, I don't know. We'll see how it plays out. For now, I got to get back to work. I got to send an email, and I got to get something in me. This is like getting really late, and I haven't eaten yet. So I've got a bunch of stuff to do. I'm sure you guys do too. So. Thanks for enjoying the videos. Thanks for putting up with my little obsessions. And I uh, hope everyone has a good holiday.